Hello and welcome to another experiment with AI and Final Cut Pro. And this is the big one. This is the one I've been trailing. And let's go and look at it straight away. And as you can tell, I've got a multicam sequence on the timeline. So I've got a multicam clip. It's got three angles in. They're synchronized with time code. And I've already labeled them um, camera one, two, and three on there, as you can see, as you can see from here. And just so we can see, he could prove, you can see you've got this uh, clapperboard at the front of all of those. But to make life easier, I'm actually going to take off the audio completely because, I mean, I don't know about you, but I tend to use the audio um, from one angle. It's a different story when I edit. Um, okay, now what I want to do is I want to trim this down. I want to keep that sync, but let's just trim that to the front and then let's just go through and make some edits on here. Okay, then let's make some small ones. And then a few larger ones on here, just so that we can see it's not. And maybe a couple more small ones on there. And then end that. If I've got the right key combination, there we go. So that is not long. It's only kind of um, just under a minute on there. But you can see we're going, we're cutting around the cameras. Not the best edit I've ever done, but it's, this is just an example. Right. Now, the first thing we need to do is export an XML. So I'm going to go File, Export XML. And I'm going to call this Multicam Cut Donor and hit Save. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to make another one of those because we need a destination to paste the XML into. So I'll just duplicate that. And then I'll call that Multicam uh, Result. There we go. That's all ready. Now we go on to the AI bit. And here we have Claude, as we've seen before. Uh, so I'm going to ask it. I have a XML from a Final Cut Pro project that contains a multicam edit. There are three angles used in the edit. I would like you to analyze the sequence and replace the multi-cam, uh, replace each multi-cam, replace each multi-cam section, edit section, multi-cam edit section on the timeline with the original uh, corresponding, always a good word, Responding with the original corresponding source clip. Now, AI loves examples, so let's just give it an example. So, for example, if the first multicam edit section is camera two, then Place the multicam edit with the uh, with with camera two with the camera two clip with the camera two clip original camera two 
with the uh, original, original, let's say original or original camera two clip at the same uh, point or time code. They've been synced with time because I should do it. Uh, keep all the other. Uh, we want to keep all if say keep all the other it's going to think all the other clips do the same for all the other clips yes do the same for all the other clips with their selected angles angles here yeah, maybe it's kind of, okay is that going to be enough okay let's try okay um so what I need to do is I need to go and open up um, the um, donor. So they go show package contents info, open with text edit, and that is text edit. Okay, so this is the original on there. So I'm going to go select all, copy, go back to Claude, and then I'm going to paste that in there and hit the button. Uh, it's thinking about it. I hope you analyze the convert multi clam clips, their corresponding source clips. Let me break this down. It has dodged putting the bookmarks in. Now, the bookmarks are alphanumeric code, it's quite long and it describes um, where the uh, map the angle IDs, their corresponding camera clips. Okay, that looks right. It's the original offset durations, simplified uh, direct. Remove the multicam specific tags, replace them with this. Keep all the metadata for me. Uh, yeah, there's no audio on there. Now, because I know there's the bookmarks in there aren't in there, this isn't going to work. Um, you have missed out the bookmarks. Please take a look again at the original XML. Do not use placeholder code. Try again. You're absolutely right. I apologize for missing the bookmarks. There you go. I kind of knew it was going to do that. And here we go. Here's the bookmark for the first asset. Um, it's this long string of characters. And that really slows Claude down and uses quite a lot of bandwidth to be honest as well. Okay, now I wonder if it's going to do this in one, my phone keeps buzzing, I wonder if this, this is going to do this in one hit. Because as we've seen before with some of the XML outputs, it actually truncates it, which isn't good. Okay, so this is the second bookmark, which takes the time to write. You know, when we get down to the actual sequence, the sequence is only little bits of code. It's these huge bookmarks that take the time. And, um, and as we've seen before, joining the XML up can be a bit problematic sometimes, just doing copy and pastes. But hopefully we're going to get all of it in one hit. Or not. No. That's all we're going to get. OK, so um, let's copy that. Then we are going to go to um, the result um, XML. So let's go uh, show package contents and open that. Open with text edit, which is that one. OK, select all of that. Delete. I'm just going to paste that in. Yeah, uh, it's Gonna, it's broken it at a really awkward point there. Okay, so let's just go continue. I mean, my knowledge of XML isn't great, and I, I don't know. You see, just M. It just says M. So it goes raw to log conversion. If you look at the previous one before. Okay. 
is it going to do it? Copy. Let's go there and paste. Don't know. I don't know. I don't like the fact that we've got that. It truncated the XML mid. Yeah, mid in, mid instruction. All right, let's give it a go though. Save. File import XML. Result import. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. It doesn't like it. It's the copy and paste. So let's say um, that didn't work. Please do the same again, but split the XML up at an obvious point that is easy to rejoin. Oh dear. Right, let's have another crack at that. Yeah. Right, here's all the resources. Right, so let's get the code going and we're going to go just delete those. I'll split the XML at logical point right after all the resources are defined and before the library section begins. Okay, that makes sense, doesn't it? Which means a bit of a wait while it writes the bookmarks. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'll keep going. It's going to take a while to, to write these um, and I'll rejoin you just as I'm joining the last bit of XML onto this. Let's see if that works. Okay, welcome back. I've been watching the XML uh, in, in the window while it's been building. And I did say put it in a spot where it's easier to join, but it's right in the middle of something. So anyway, let's just see if this works. Not too sure. And then we're going to go uh, paste, aren't we? And save. Let's save again. Oh, we saved twice. I don't know why. Let's try that. OK, and um, we're going to go File, Import, XML, Result, Import. Looking hopeful, no errors. And what do we call it? Converted Multicam Edit. Is that what we called it? And has it done it? It those are single clips. It's got the audio on it, and I didn't have the audio on there before. I mean, that is, I don't believe. I don't believe it. it's done it. It has done it. So I've just flattened a multicam in Final Cut. But I am a, such a doubting Thomas. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of that. And let's go back to the original multicam edit. And what we can do is just paste the thing on top. I forgot this key cut. Right, look, it's done it. It's actually done it. OK, let's... Four. What I'm going to do is just shrink them down a bit. And then... I've probably done the wrong one now, have I? Undo that. Just in the excitement of it working, take all of those. Oh, maybe I did the opacity. That's what I probably did. Scale. Bring it all down. I've just flattened a multicam in Final Cut. I've just flattened a multicam in Final Cut. Now, if I can do this, if I can do this with messing around with AI, it shows it can be done. Now, the caveat to that is we use clips that were all the similar media. They were the similar time codes. There's no um, repositioning. I mean, you know, I tend to blow 4K up to use it in 1080 to use another angle. Um, there's no speed effects, etc., etc., etc. So this is a simple multicam, but as you can see, I have, and that. Let's put this back to a uh, hundred. We flatten the multicam. How about that? 
there you go i did promise you something cool uh i think that's pretty cool and um there's also more that we can do with this we're just scratching the surface and you've got to bear in mind that um with claude and using this xml you know it, it it's the equivalent of using a dial-up modem at the moment with what it'll be able to do in the future but if I can do it like this really clumsily then somebody with a lot more technical knowledge is going to be able to do something you know with the API or something and do a call and collapse a multicam um, but that goes to show that it is possible to collapse a Final Cut Pro multicam sequence flatten it all down use the original angles and that is quite special to me and um, make sure you like and subscribe I've got some more coming soon it gets even more interesting but I'm gonna go and have a beer because I think I've earned it <laughs>